God is not sitting in heaven thinking to himself, what can I do to man today? Let me put sickness on them. Let me destroy them. God, he doesn't even function that way because you can see that manifest in the person of Jesus Christ when you go and read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and the Bible even says at the end of the Gospel of John, all these miracles that Jesus do, and all the others that have been written down, I do not even suppose the books of the world will contain them. And you can read everywhere he went, he healed the sick, he cleansed the leper, he raised the dead, he forgave sin. And Jesus was the express image of the Father. Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. He said, I and my Father are one. He said, I did not come to do my own will, but the will of Him that sent me. And so Jesus was a direct representation of the Father. The Father's heart was displayed to the world by Jesus when He came and walked the earth 2,000 years ago. And I'm here to tell you that He is alive and He is living today. And today you can be born again. Today you can be saved. Today you can be translated out of darkness into light. Too many of God's people are identifying with the wrong kingdom. In the world there'll be tribulation. The Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers us out of them all. The Bible says there's no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. And God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation make a way of escape. And so you have to know that there's an enemy of your soul. He hates you. He hates the very ground that you walk on. And when you begin to worship God, you took his place. That's why I love that song, said the devil don't like it because he had it one time. But I got it. I got it because that is a fact that he was worshiping before the throne of God. But because of sin, he was cast out of heaven. And now you and I have taken their place. That's why he hates humanity. That's why he comes against people. He hates people. But God loves people. And he loves people of every tribe and every tongue. No matter what race, no matter what creed, he loves them. He loves them. He loves them.